Hey guys, um, back here. Um, so in my last video, you saw me uh, doing this uh, tablet here, and one of the things I issues I think I have um, is a tablet mount just not very stable. It bounces around a lot. So I wanted to make a more of like permanent mount. I weld something together, and I got something that's called channel seal. And I'm thinking I want to have the tablet. If you guys can see that. I'm gonna make a little mount, like a little cage around it. Maybe put some like felt in the in the inside here to kind of protect it on both sides with some kind of padding. And then um, just a uh, kind of like an anti-rattle padding. But so let me show you my current mount. But uh, yeah, this thing is definitely not a. It's, it's made by Akron. Uh, Acron, but the problem is it bounces around a lot, and like when I'm driving around, it's hard to even see the thing if it's bouncing around a lot. So if, I, if I'm off off roading, it's gonna be brutal. If you're just on the street, it's kind of brutal. So I wanted to get like a more permanent type of mount that would be, uh, you know, non non movable, just permanent. So um, yeah, I think it's somewhere in there. That's what I don't know where the. You know what I mean? So I mean, I did this does move the thing a lot, but the tablet's super light, so. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can weld something together. Get it going here. All right, guys, back here. I'm using my uh, miter saw, my chop saw. So I put some 45 degree angles on this, this U channel here. And uh, right there, right there. Tablet top is in there. It's, just kind of fitting this thing manually. And then I think my goal was I was gonna put some uh, weld in some of this flat bar right here. Somewhere in there, and um, maybe a little bit lower. And I was, like, I was gonna put some of that on both sides, maybe like weld it into here, so I could slide the uh, tablet in and out of the uh, holder here. And at the same time, I could also put like a little lock, so you couldn't actually. This is gonna be permanent. I'm gonna put like a single little lock, so you can't really get the tablet out. You know, with a lock in the place. So, kind of like right there. So. Hopefully you can see that. All right, cool. Good tool to have if you need to do like a, these 45 degree uh, join them together. It's like a magnet. And another thing too is on this side, I have the tablet going this direction. When it's gonna be sitting flat like this, I'm gonna need to um, cut out holes so I can get my cords through the edge, edge here. So I'm gonna use my uh, so my headphone jack, I'm probably going to be using Bluetooth to get my, uh, this is also going to be my, goal, my media center. It's going to hold my uh, MP3s and videos or whatever I'm going to play them or everything. So, um, yeah, I still need to actually power the, the tablet. So I'm going to use my milling vise that I showed you in a different video. I'm going to mill out some, uh, some slots here. First I'm going to drill it, and then I'm going to mill some slots out. All right, cool. I'm going to use my milling vise here and just... See if I can get these things milled out. Some channels for that uh, USB connector, power connector, and uh, HDMI. But all right, cool. Get this going. It's gonna take a while. Right. Yeah, so that's my first pass. Getting the whole out. I, mean, I probably could have done it better. I might have to clean it up with my uh, grinding stones, but yeah. I mean, it's. I'm sure there's easier ways of doing this than this milled thing here. But that was fun. It would be cool to play with it, you know. Uh, now I gotta drill out these uh, this side over here for the uh, headphone jack area. Right. Obviously, I'm not a professional machinist, but I think you'll get the idea here. So when I have this welded together, it's gonna these will be open up, and then I have the felt in there. These will be <clears throat> so I can get my uh, power plug and my headphone jack through there. So, all right. So let's see if this thing fits. Yeah. Once I get the felt in there, it's going to be nice and snug. Get the padding. The clearance on that side for those plugs. And now I'm just going to weld some strips. I'm going to have to cut some of the edges down here. On the edges, I get there. 
like that turn. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Well, here and there. One on each side. Maybe one across the back to as a back strap, but support. I first want to at least get this cage in here so I can get the uh, that down. All right, cool, cool, cool. Get some straps, front and back. And this is going to be act as the uh, locking mechanism. So this is also going to be the support, but also I'm going to put a lock, a little padlock through there. You'll see. All right, guys, I'm pretty fucking bugged here. Uh, somehow I cracked the screen. I mean, you can't even see it, but there's a crack that goes all the way down, all the way up here. If you can see it on the camera, look at that. Look at that crack. Fuck. I don't know how I did that. I somehow, I don't know, it chipped or something right here, and I was playing with it, and all of a sudden it went cracked all the way up. But I mean, I can still see it pretty fine. It's not. I mean, I can definitely feel a crack, but. Yeah, that's a problem. Look at that. It stops there. Well, back onto this thing. I mean, worst case scenario, I gotta buy a new one, which is 50. I can probably go into like 50 bucks, maybe less, online. I don't know what I. I, might, I think I might have dropped something on it. I don't know what the fuck I did, but. God, I'm annoyed. Um. So that is in there. Yeah, I'm so bug right now. All right, so I'm still going, so. All right. Hey guys, back here. So, gotta make the connection mount here now. So I think I'm gonna put that right there. As you can see, it's sort of connected to the welding clamp. I'm just gonna do some quick tacks, you know. I. Don't want to get on the floor, so my cardboard might block a little bit of it. But the carpet sucks, so I'm not too worried about it. The carpet here. I just want to get a couple tacks on here so I can get the angle correct. All right, so it sucks I can't get any of this shit on camera while I'm doing it. I just too, the angles are too hard. And I can't put a camera up. So, so put a couple, couple quick tacks and uh, come back with it. I have this frame built. Still pretty bugged that I cracked my uh, tablet. I mean, I, I can't imagine what's worse than that. Breaking the tablet that you're making a custom bracket for. Uh, well, I'm trying to find another one or something similar to it. I mean, I'd like to find one with a full-size USB port, but there, I mean, like I said, the thing about that Encore has a built-in GPS, but I don't need to have a built-in GPS. I do have external USB sensors I can connect if I had a full-size USB or OTG USB hub, but all right, so. Get that going up here. And I'm gonna mount. I need to mount my thing above here. So what I'm trying to do is, I want to get it high enough to where I can get the camera, so I can use the camera and lens. And that's actually one thing about what's cool about that Encore man. It's the tablet where the lens is in the perfect spot, the upper left-hand corner, so I can go over my uh, hood there because I want to be able to actually uh, start filming if I have to, if I get an accident or uh, off-roading or whatever. You know, I want to film it. So it can also act as a camera, kind of media center, GPS, all that stuff. So just high enough to clear that hood. So I'm actually going to have it over here where the other tablet is. But all right, cool. All right, guys, piece is ready for. Uh, I'm gonna start sandblasting this thing and get ready for powder coat. But here it is. So I have little notches here for the camera. The rear facing camera, this is actually for like the start button right there. I have access to the start button. And uh, that's the front facing camera. So hopefully that will clear my hood, it should. So I can uh, get some front video with the click of a button. All right. It's got some powder coat on that thing, so kind of throw it in the oven here. You can see that fresh coda or fresh uh, powder coat flat black. Cool, hopefully, I would say won't rust. 
Hey, so now I gotta put some like liner in there. I wonder if Home Depot got this stuff. It's, uh, it's like a self sticking adhesive, uh, kind of like a, like a, it's a, what's it called? Like a weather strip, like door weather strip department area aisle. I also got that, just in case that doesn't work for some reason, I got this foam stuff too, so. All right, so I'm gonna try to use some of this, get that wrapped in the inside for some padding of the, uh, of the thing so it doesn't rub too much. All right, let's see here. Oh, I'll get it going, so. All right, guys, I don't know if you guys can see that foam tape in there. It's right there. I guess some better light, maybe. But yeah, the foam tape all the way around there, you know, it's keeping everything securely in the, the rack here, so. You guys gotta, when I wait for the digitizer to come, you can see that crack. Um, it was like 30 bucks, so that was like a 30 hour mistake. In about an hour's time to fix it, so. I think a tool must have dropped on her or something. I don't know, man. It was in my uh, garage workbench, and someone I came back out and it was cracked. So. Alright, this thing's ready to mount. Cool. Alright, guys, had this thing finally finished. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys saw my previous videos, but I cracked the screen. But let me show you this real quick. I'm gonna have it mounted like right there. That's what I can to the other computer. And I have it flat, so if somebody's actually sitting next to me navigating, I, I could have actually tilted this more towards my angle, like towards me. But if I actually have somebody else in the car, they can actually help me navigate the GPS and stuff. And also see the GPS. Um, also, I wanted to be able to use the cameras. So if the camera was actually uh, tilted directly at me, the front facing camera would be kind of a at an odd angle so this kind of gives me a straight shot on the on the front of the camera but um so let me get that mount like that and get that going all right cool so uh, i'm gonna go back at my impact or my i'm gonna get some self tapping screws and put it down there at the bottom and we will see all right so um i'll get that mounted and uh I mean, I'm not gonna be able to get a full view of the camera because I have to be like way up to get down past the engine, but I can at least get a little bit in the front of me. So if I'm, a, I'm on a trail, you're gonna see at least the trail in front of me probably. I'm not gonna see the ground, but that's not really the primary purpose of this thing anyways, but just an extra nice feature in case I gotta do like a quick record or something of some whatever, you know. But uh, but I got also, I can actually capture a video of me in the front of my, uh, you know, if I reverse the camera around, so. All right, let me get this mounted real quick. There it is. It's kind of big and massive. Um, guess I'll see over the next couple of months if I like it there. I mean, I can always move it to a different spot down lower, but then I wouldn't be able to get the camera function. So let's see. I mean, it's not. I'm sure this is not going to be a great camera function, but okay. So that's me. Hey, dudes. All right. Um, rip that around. All right. There you go. So yeah, as you can see, it kind of hits my uh, the cowl on my hood a little bit, but I mean, at least still be able to get part of the trail, you know, if I'm filming the trail. But let's see here. So I guess if I'm driving, okay, that's that's a good view. I mean, I'm probably back here. You can probably see me driving back here. That's cool. Um, all right. Let's see. Flip that around again. And. Uh, Okay, let's get out of that. Also, as you see, that in the padding here, I had also kind of cut out the padding around there and for camera spots. I guess I could get that down a bit. Like I said, this is the first time this thing has been mounted, so I still got to play with it here. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Where's the maps? I guess I still, I'm gonna put a shortcut for maps in here. I guess. Uh, right now, I don't have, have it in tablet mode, but maps. And that's where I have all the maps downloaded. Like I said, remember this thing actually has an integrated GPS receiver. So, I think, what, what is the one? Home, that's where it is. Okay, that's where I'm at, that's where I live. It's not a mystery. Um, that's actually one of, the, well, one of the reasons why I kept it open in the back is so it, uh, it could uh, vent heat. And also, I, I didn't want to block any, I wanted to have at least amount of obstructions for the GPS receiver as possible. 
and oh another thing too is um, right now I just have the power cable connected to it but because there's only one thing on there I'm having an issue of trying to find an OTG cable uh, so I can actually run my I'm actually gonna put a USB uh, hub under the dash so I can actually have my my, uh, my holy uh, computer cable connected to it so I can actually program my uh, ECU and uh, what else ECU then I'm gonna do my SDR sharp my, my software defined radio on there and uh, what else was I gonna do I was gonna do some I also have a uh, Bluetooth uh, keyboard but this thing actually has Bluetooth so I'm fine with that it's I have like a mini keyboard I'm not keeping here so what was I gonna do I was gonna engine management and uh, I guess for now just SDR sharp then I'm gonna have an extra antenna on the roof so I can do the software defined radio but all right, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, custom made route mount there. You know, like I said, this is the one of the very few GPS receivers that actually, uh, or I mean, tablets actually has a built-in GPS receiver. So and camera, so that's cool. Maybe the camera function, but all right, guys, that's it. So maybe in a couple videos, maybe I'll be filming uh, as I'm driving around. So cool, cool, cool. Yes, I forgot. Um, <laughs> This thing can do me so many different things. It's also a video player. So my kid can watch movies in here. I can watch movies. Um, I can also put all my media on here. All my uh, Bluetooth music, all like uh, all my like, MP3 files on this thing. But I, w I wanted to demonstrate. Um, so right now I have a, this is not dialed in, but an on the, I guess what I'm looking for is an on the go OTG cable that can actually charge my tablet while it's plugged into USB. And that's been an issue for a couple different tablets I've had so um, but let me show you I haven't tried this yet so let's, let's log into this thing and I'm gonna open up my holy version 4 and I'm gonna, hopefully this will work okay and I hmm. guess I gotta upgrade my software then Okay, well at least what I'll do is save the configuration file. Uh, that way I have a backup on this thing in case I uh, need it here. Okay, go, oh, it's 316, that's, what's the date today? It's 714. 7 14 7 one Oh, well, I guess you guys don't need to see that. It's not. Ah, man. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Okay. Okay, let's go back to uh, 7 14 14. That's today. Every time I, I say the configuration, I say the date on there. That way, uh, in case it's, uh, I think it's flawed for some reason, that's, uh, uh, I can actually recover from it. Let's actually let's fire this up. It's kind of cold. Let's do the USB link. Okay. I gotta put the software on this, obviously. Let's check the gauge cluster. There you go. So, I mean, I already have this stuff right here. So, it doesn't really. I'm not going anywhere, Drake. My kid's tripping out because I'm leaving. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. But, yeah, look at that. I'm not going anywhere, Drakey. There you go. Yeah, sorry, my kid in here. Oh, he thinks I'm taking off. There you go. As you can see, this holy gauge cluster. That's one of the reasons why I did this, but I gotta find a way to charge it and run data at the same time. So, cool, cool. So, all right, let me know if you have any questions. So, I'll come back and if I can find an OTG cable that works, then I'll uh, put it on there. So, well, awesome. What do you think of the new gauge cluster? The gauge cluster is good. Yeah, it's cool, huh? All right, awesome. All right, guys, see you next time. Later.